Okay, hi everyone. Um, this is a DS a DC PSU, 18 volts. Goes up to about two amps. It's driving a uh, Bedini SSG circuitry with the charging diode removed. I just want to use it to drive this coil and push the rotor around quickly. The rotor is uh, a single magnet, diametrically magnetized, so each curved side of the face is a pole. Uh, it's on a carbon sh shaft there. So it's all very light, very fast, gets up to about 23, 24,000 RPM, so about 400 hertz. Um, this here is a, a generator coil. It's uh, 500 grams or about a pound of 0.5 millimeter wire. Uh, the core here is from a masonry anchor shield, um, like one of these. The shield bolts, and I've just lopped the head off because obviously that would give undesirable properties. So I shove that core back in there. Uh, and this is just a quick one just to demonstrate the Thane Hines effect or the acceleration under load effect. Let's start her up. Okay, obviously deciding not to hit 23, 24,000 today. Um, so we're getting about 20,200 RPM for our 460 ish milliamps. And if we then attach a load to our generator coil, um, oh, this by the way is a 240 volt microwave oven uh, bulb. 185 ohms. Obviously this coil uh, won't generate the power to light it, but um, it's fine as a dummy load. Especially if you can manage to get the clicks on. There right, we go. So one last check. We're now running at... Yeah, so about 460 milliamps. And 20,500 RPM. And of course, we attach the load. And current draw goes up. And you can hear the RPMs go down, but obviously, we have to check. And they've dropped down by nearly 3,000. That's just standard generator action. So let's. Disconnect that, move the generator coil, take the core, and now we have this coil, which is high inductance, many, many turns, again 500 grams or about a pound, uh, this time of 0.3 millimeter wire, um, and this is by filer wound and internally serially connected. So if we stick that on the router and we'll use the same core and that's of course slowing down the traction to the core and now we'll take some measurements here we're drawing again so 467 18,600 and now we attach our dummy load if we can get our dummy fingers to work there we go and our jaw goes down 
And of course you can hear the speed go up, but again we'll check it. And it's 21,500. So, that's a simple demo of the effect in a pulse motor, obviously, you know, the, the simplest pulse motor you can get. Um, yes, so next I'll do a pulse motor with a, you know, a proper rotor and a dozen magnets. Okay, thanks for watching.